What is Rona thinking employing Jamie Tate? Oh, she reckons he'll be good for the business. What, after what he did to Eric? No one will touch him with a barge pole. Well, it is Rona's problem. She took him on without consulting anyone. You did pull strings with me behind Paddy's back. No way, that's different. You're not a stranger and you've proved yourself. Yeah, so. Charity's right, we don't know Jamie. If he wants our approval, he needs to earn it. Yeah, well, it is three copies to go. Ah. Right, Rona wants me to give Jamie some computer training, so I better go. She is right, though. I can't complain about Rona giving Jamie a break when I did the same for her. That was for Lisa's sake, to stop Belle going travelling. And you and Paddy call the shots, not Rona. If you're not happy about it, you need to tell her. Bernice, I didn't think you were working today. Oh, it's not my choice. I'm delivering election leaflets for Nicola. Hey, Bernice, can you fit me in for a cut and blow? Oh, not today, I'm sorry. Although I am always up for returning clients. Please, it's only a one-off. My decent stylist in the Maldives. Ah, nice to know my skill set's so appreciated. Listen, if you're not busy, give me a hand with these. Oh, I'm not up to it. Oh, still a bit shaken up after the accident, I expect. I hope you uh, claim for whiplash. You want to screw Jamie Tate for whatever you can get. I mean, Eliza was in the car, wasn't she? You could probably get a few bob for her and all, you know. At least she came off better than Eric. If he ends up with brain damage, he'll be paying out more than Compo, won't he? He'll end up in prison. Best place for him, I say. I'll go for strawberry instead. Ah, oh, someone been buying your chocolates? Uh, no, they're Jamie's. He's letting us share them. I'm trying to suck up to us. He won't impress anyone throwing money around like his mother. He needs to prove he is an asset to this place. <clears throat> the chocolates aren't from me. Uh, they're a gift from Mrs Barrington. Battleaxe Barrington? Mm-hmm. She bought Maisie in yesterday with barbed wire lacerations. Jamie treated her injuries and they both went away happy. See for yourself. And she left us a glowing review online. I see. Well, fair's fair, I suppose. If you've impressed Mrs Barrington, that's unheard of. Thanks. Told you Jamie would be a good fit, didn't I? He's starting to prove his worth already. Mm. Well, you'll have to convince Paddy when he gets back, and he won't be a pushover, that's for sure. <laughs> so that dawn says for services, they might let us see your boy again. Ah, oh, that's great news. Yeah, if they think I'm good enough. Of course you are. You've got a home, a good job. You've even got a vehicle on the side. That's not the best credential ever. Yeah, Ryan's right. This is a real chance for you. You're more together now than you've ever been. Yeah, so don't blow it. Well, charming the socks off some grumpy old biddy does not make him a super vet. No, but it's still not a bad introduction. <sighs> well, don't let Faith hear you say that. She's in the back in a right old state, you know. But I'm not defending what he did to Eric. If I've got to work with the lad, I might as well give him a chance. Oh, I'm uh, not sure I can handle this. Oh, you'll be fine. Brave face, remember? And I'll look after you. But why don't you take a seat? I'll get you a drink. Um, white wine and a brandy, please. Looks like things are still progressing with Megan. Well, it's early days, but we've decided to give it another go. Oh, oh, I see. Well, don't sound so enthusiastic. No, no, I'm happy for you. As long as you're not just someone to lean on after the crash. No, we, we were getting on before that, too. Dad, I'm only looking out for you. She broke your heart last time. Don't get carried away and forget that. Dave, Bob's on his way, so we need to get to this house viewing. Oh, just saying. Thanks. Uh, master bedroom with its own ensuite. Oh, life goals. Right, I'll see you later. Mm -hmm.